on camera? Because you're on live. You're on live video. Here morning. at Salt Lake. Morning, world. Just curious, Mondo. What, how, what, are you, what are you doing? I'm out doing behind the scenes stuff. Okay, today I'm doing the switcher and yeah, computer stuff. And it's going to be great. How's the switcher look today? So we've got, we got our, our, our all cameras. All the shots. Yes. And here is the switch stuff. Video. So how do you feel about I'm I'm like really into the purple background. Here. I love purple, so I'm loving it. And it's it's kinda like it's got a like a almost like a fairy tale knowledge <laughs> sort of thing going on today. Yes. Well, sweet. I'm gonna get some more behind the We need to get more colors though. Yeah. Col Different colors. Today or just in general? No, in general. Okay. Sweet. And then on there which is the title of the class, so the folder for that. What are you guys doing? Loading the PowerPoint. Loading the PowerPoint. Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. And then uh, lo look for her, power her presentation, open it up. Uh, it's P, right? Um, Nary, Nary, what are you doing? I am trying to create something that's less obtuse to the eye, less eye-catching than this large piece of tape. Okay. But yet we still want a safety loop in here, so if one end gets pulled, it just loosens this end over here. So with this loop like that, this end gets pulled, it doesn't unplug, it just pulls on this loop. So I'm going to try this little Velcro thing out just across here and see if I can create the same effect. Nice. younger? I went canning. Two guests. Well, no, it's one guest, one instructor, and me. So, where's the Facebook Live people? I've got a mug already. So behind the scenes. No, no, behind no. the scenes. Jake, be a celebrity. You're on camera. Make All Facebook right. happy. Well, Facebook, let me walk you through the steps of how to play a PowerPoint. So, um, we gotta get the PowerPoint ready because this is this is actually a sneak peek. You you get to see this before anyone else does. So, file. This file is not live. This PowerPoint has not been released. This is a pre-release. This is a prequel. Um, this is a, a private project, a masterpiece. Can you take the phone for just a second, brother? Are you tired, man? You tired of holding it? I got stuff to do. Okay. So, full screen, I think, right? Nope, it's not, still not doing it. Still not doing it. Ooh, this is good stuff. We covered this yesterday. Mission, your uh, dashboard. Let's see. I'm just going to open the PDF. Hopefully that will be easier. Let's see. Clockwise. Where is the menu bar on this thing? Yeah? No, that's not good enough. That's not the quality we're looking for. Okay, back to this, back to this stuff. Is there like a voice option for this? So which one do I go to? Sorry. It's the middle one? All the way down. Okay. Did I do anything? There we go. There we go. Checking the mics here. Now how does that look? Because I've had to... The mic on Scott, so we like to tilt it straight up. For some reason, it's just the way the shirt's yeah. set up. If it's tilted this way, it's going to catch the sound over here. Okay. You can just angle it straight. All right. So, I've got our instruction now. That's perfect. Okay. And I'm ready for selfie mode. Sweet. 
Hey, Facebook. You're with Beth Strathman. Hey, everyone. Perfect. Our instructor for how to distraction-proof your workplace. That's it. Perfect. So I've, I've got the, the class schedule with all the goodies in here right now. Uh, actually, let's, let's do the lighting where it's actually like... Better for us? Yeah, where it's designed for our faces. That's all right. right. Face lighting <laughs> is good. Perfect. So what... What's the, is there a theme okay, for today? Okay, are you ready for me? Yes, we have a theme for all three hours today, and that is executing your strategic plan. And if you execute your strategic plan in a focused and intentional way, you will distraction-proof your workplace. Excellent. So what, what uh, so SMART goals, we touched a little bit on yesterday. Yeah, just a quick review on a couple of items from yesterday when we talked about the dashboard, and then we'll get into more specifics about... Um, how to look at executing that strategic plan that you probably have on your shelf in a binder or somewhere on your computer. Excellent. So is there, from the dashboard, what, is, did, we, did we accomplish everything? Is there some, some tips on there that so now we're, we're going to talk. Today? Yeah, we're going to talk about those items from the dashboard a little bit more in depth and how to actually take them from our thought process and put them into action in your workplace and get, keep your employees focused on those items every day so that they're focused on what's important and they have less time for distraction. Perfect. So where, where did this dashboard concept come from? Well, it just come, came from a collection of the most important items that most companies need to have in mind. And a lot of times we have them, but we just forget that they're there. They're just so important to our companies that we assume that people are living them and our company is clicking along according to them. So we're looking at mission, vision, values, edge, goals, key performance indicators, uh, key relationships, and professional development that's important for the next cycle of goals that your company is trying to achieve. So is it is it kind of like if you didn't have that oil signal on your car, if you didn't know what speed you're going at, it's all the essential stuff that you need to be able to see. Keep in front of you so you're reminded of it constantly and you can stay on track, just like you keep your car on track. That's right. Very Perfect. good analogy. Well, Boy, you need to be hired. <laughs> uh, so there's there's a, a few topics about unconscious, I guess, behaviors. Beliefs, yeah, that lead to behaviors. Yeah, this is very important because whether you're um, going through change or just executing your strategic plan, a lot of times we get off track because we have the best of intentions, we know what we need to do, but subconsciously we have beliefs that are pulling us off track and distracting us from really what's important. So I'm going to highlight some of those things that can occur, uh, mostly in the leadership area of the company, because uh, if the leaders aren't really clued in and aware of what they're doing to kind of sabotage the execution of the strategic plan, sabotage, um, then it can put you off track and lead to that distraction that we're trying to get away from. Perfect. Excellent. So there's a lot of the action steps that people aren't exactly knowing they're doing and it's not helping towards the, the goal. Right. They're not even aware of it and they're really undermining the success of achieving, achieving that goal. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. And then I see stakeholders seem to be important today. Yeah, those darn stakeholders. And stakeholders <laughs> are all the people who have a, a piece of the action here. So whether that's your customers, your employees, um, or your leadership and management, um, you different people are going to have a different feeling about what you're trying to achieve goal-wise. So it's really important to kind of take stock of who's on board, who's not on board, board excuse me, and who's actively working against what you're trying to achieve, because that can cause a distraction. And so you just need to be aware of that and create ways, create a plan for how you can get people more on board. Some people you're never going to get 100% behind your efforts. That's okay. At least you have to figure out a way to um, minimize any distractions that they could cause as you're trying to achieve those important goals. So oh. stakeholders, really important, and that's one of our bonuses too, is a stakeholder oh. management grid. Mm -hmm. Awesome, excellent. Is there is there any uh, final words you'd like to say, a little tip perhaps, or a particular group of people which you think yeah. will get a, a surprisingly great information and a lot of material from this course? You know what, I think if you're in a management or leadership position in a company of any size, you can learn a lot from today's class because 
people have an easy time, easier time creating the plan, it's harder to put it into action and make that plan come into reality. So if you're in a leadership or management position, today is a great class for you. Lots of great practical tips and tricks. Perfect. Sweet. All right. Well, be sure to join us live today on CuriousMondo.com. On the top of the page, you will see the live link. It should be in the red bar. And be sure to ask questions on the chat because I, I'm sure you'll be happy to answer any Love of them. them. Love them. Chat away. Uh, see us at Curious Mondo where you conquer new possibilities.